Hi, my people. Hey, Quinn. What does the fox say? Mm. I hope you're singing the song out loud because <laughs> Quinn's not gonna do it. All right. So, guess what we're making today, you guys? Little foxes in honor of St. Patrick's. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I like St. Patrick's. I like Irish food. I like foxes. So we're gonna make some foxes today. If you wanna grab yourself a square sheet of paper, don't forget in the first video, I demonstrated to you how to take a rectangle, regular piece of paper and turn it into a square using a triangle. I know that's weird. If you need reference, go back to the first video we did with our origami butterflies. But today we're gonna come on around here, camera, and we're gonna be using our square to make ourselves a fox. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn it over because we want the color on the outside. And Quinn's already on it. We're going to make our first diagonal fold to make a big triangle. Come down to the middle and creasey, 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 crease. Looking awesome, squeaky, squeaky from the foil paper Quinn is using. All right, next step is we're gonna take it, open it up and turn it so that the point that we have just made is pointing at us, All right? I'm then gonna fold it across one more time to get two diagonals. And when we're done with this, we should have an X on the inside. If you have an X on the inside, you are ready to go with our next step. You don't have to do an X, but it will help you. It'll help you with, with this line here. So the X line is actually to help us take our flaps on the side and fold up towards the nose of our triangle and crease one side. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do it to the other side. So I'm gonna take this flap on this side and fold it up again to butt up against the line and crease all the way down with this. All right? it doesn't have to be perfect, but needs to be pretty much symmetrical on both sides, right? Now we're gonna fold it close. So when I say fold it close, the flappies are gonna be on the outside. It looks like a little flower opening. We're gonna fold it in half, which again, that center line will help us with. And now we're ready to make our fox face, right? Or our fox ears. So we flip it over. And what's really important here is that we have all three of our points in the top right-hand corner. A straight line here, but again, those where we can see our open white folds. And this bottom here is the entire fold. Okay, this is the tricky part that I have messed up on and Quinn had to keep correcting me on. So again, all three of our folds are open at the top. The folded white paper that we could see on the inside is on the right hand side and then down below is that middle crease that we made right the first step we're going to do is take flap number one and we're going to fold it to the left going from the bottom all the way up to the top to create an ear all right and we're going to fold it oh, i went a little too far i'm not doing it far enough fold it across yeah we're having opposite <laughs> problems right so here's an ear but we want an ear a nose and an ear. So we're gonna take the center flap right here and you we're gonna do pull it. Gold chest oh. or whatever so I can chest. do orange or by sticking can... my finger in the middle of this piece, or I can open it up a little further or to get lower. one of the white pieces. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because I want a white chest for mine. And I'm gonna pull it out and over the crease I just made. So I'm pulling it over the ear, right? But instead of poking the nose down, I'm gonna let the nose kind of poke up. And then I'm gonna take that nose and squish it all the way down, lining up the center of the head line with the center of the white line that I just created. Now, Probably this looks pretty good. Right now. You're gonna draw the face first? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one more step to fold, which is to make the tail. But first Quinn's gonna decorate the face. So we're gonna put an eyeball, an eyeball, a little nose. And then if you wanna decorate the ears or the tail, you are able to do that. Eyeballs, eyeballs, nose. I did some lines on the ear and then here comes the next step. In order to decorate the tail, we have to take the tail and we're going to fold it across the base fold to make a small triangle in the corner, creasing it really good. And that is actually the way that he, whoop, bad you didn't example. Fold it enough. I think I folded it too much. There we go. That is actually, okay, dude, you're gonna stand, right? He stands! <laughs> what did I do here? Did I not fold it in enough? Maybe. Learning from our mistakes, mm. everybody. Yeah! As Bob Ross would say, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. And um, my fox is so much more happy now that he's standing up, but he can't see! 
I'm gonna help him see. She's a blind fox. I, I really want him to see. He could see so much better now. I gave him glasses. He was having a hard time. But you know who this is, right? It's Harry Potter. It's a Harry That's Potter a fox. fox. <laughs> I like him. I like him a lot. I'm gonna give him some triangle ears. And then for his tail, I'm gonna give him another little lightning bolt. Boop! And we are done for the day. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will show you some fun drawing for tomorrow. And on top of that, we'll do one more piece of origami, right? All right. Thank you from the bottom of our art. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.